This is John Nielsen and Kathy Alvarez here at Functional Patterns. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through an exercise that's going to help you improve your unilateral kettlebell swing mechanics. A very common deficiency that you guys wind up seeing popping up during people's movement is lateral shifting of the pelvis. Now, if you don't have the stability and the, and the rotation of the trunk, your hips will end up taking over and end up compensating for this. So to do this exercise, we're going to step back and Kathy's going to get into a staggered stance. She's going to place one foot in front of the other. Essentially, we're going to be working on a single leg balance. And so we're going to throw this resistance band into the mix. So I'm going to have Kathy put her right leg into this band. And I'm going to bring it up about midway on the femur. And from here, I'm going to pull, apply a lateral force on her femur there. And so if, even without this resistance, if someone wants to get into this position, and if Kathy was to shift her pelvis to the right, if this was a deficiency popping up, I'm going to be feeding that deficiency by pulling on her with this resistance band. So her body is going to have to counter this force and go in the other direction. It's going to force her to activate her right lateral line to stabilize herself. And in this context as well, I want her to be activating her glutes and her adductors in conjunction with one another. So just to practice, I'm going to have her just balancing and com combating this force. She's going to focus on activating her TVA, pulling her navel in, making sure that her knee is neutral and floating over her ankle, not drifting inward. And from there, that looks pretty good. So this is something that you can work on both sides with somebody, with a client of yours, or if you need this for yourself. And to progress this, once you've mastered the single leg balance, we're going to throw a kettlebell in here. So same thing, I'm going to have this force coming from the side. And Kathy will start doing her kettlebell swing. As you can see, she's focusing on eccentrically loading her glutes and hamstrings as she drops into the swing. And contracting her right leg and left leg as she comes up. Her hips are staying pretty square there. She's rotating her trunk at the bottom and the top of range of motion. Want to try the other side? Yep. So some, a person might have the deficiency to only one side of their body. So you would just adjust accordingly. If they're shifting their hips to the left, put the band on their left femur and pull them to the left. All right, there you guys go. If you guys are not sure on how to do a kettlebell swing, I would suggest you go back to the videos on my YouTube channel and learn the basics first, and then you guys can move on to this technique. This is Kathy and Johnny at Functional Patterns reminding you to train intentionally and not habitually. Take care.